Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our brand new program which we call, Comedy for Life. This program is a very big and extremely hilarious comedy show which is starting as of tonight, and we want all of you to welcome the person who will be starring in this show, as well as the special guest stars who will be starring in tonight's episode. Please welcome the hilarious Jonah Campbell, and his three trusty sidekick friends, Night Panther Minecraft, Dandy Dan 2015 and David the Jonah Campbell fan. Here they are coming up to the stage right now, so let's all cheer for them. Hey there motherfuckers. Yo bitch Jonah Campbell is here with my homies, Night Panther Minecraft, Danty Dan 2015 and David the Jonah Campbell fan. Hello everyone. I'm Night Panther Minecraft. I'm Danty Dan 2015. And I'm David the Jonah Campbell fan. Welcome to our new show which we call, Comedy for Life. This is a comedy show where we will perform stand-up comedy and tell so many funny jokes to all of you bitches out there. For tonight's episode, we're all going to tell funny jokes to you, and we all personally guarantee that these jokes are so hilarious, they'll make all of you motherfuckers roll on the floor laughing your fucking asses off out loud. We're also going to do this in a way where it's like playing a little game, and this game is called, Roast Jonah Campbell's Haters. How this game works is pretty simple. All we're going to do is take turns roasting the fuck out of Jonah Campbell's stupid and toxic haters. They will definitely deserve it for making my best friend's life a living hell along with their flip buddies. We have 12 jokes for tonight's episode. Jonah gets to tell the first joke. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay everyone, here's the first joke. Did you hear about the time Carlos Parra caught COVID-19 and then was able to recover two weeks later? When he announced about it to his stupid fans on YouTube, my response was this. Carlos Parra survived COVID-19? Wow, what a relief. I thought the cat got stuck in the dishwasher. <laughs> Here's the second joke. It's also a message to Emmanuel Barrera the nice guy. Hey, Emmanuel Barrera the nice guy. Your mom went to a store and asked the clerk if he had anything in her size, and he told her to try the freight elevator. <laughs> Hey, Jonah, you just insulted my mother with a, your mom, joke. That wasn't nice at all. And besides, there's no way my mother is really that fat. You literally just hurt this bitch's feelings. But anyway guys, here's the third joke. If Laughing Bob 100 forced us to watch that cartoon hookup video out of SpongeBob and Sandy, we definitely wouldn't laugh, because Laughing Bob 100 is such a fish brain. He tried to grow a sunflower by burying a sheep. <laughs> And now, here's the fourth joke. It's also a message to Colin Wood. Hey Colin Wood, do you seriously call yourself an artist? Why don't you give up paintbrushes and try using a roller? <laughs> Oh, my, fucking, god. Dwayne, I literally cannot get over these fucking insulting jokes Jonah and his pals are telling us. They're so funny that I'm dying of laughter. I know right. Jonah truly is a real comedian. He should do this more often so he can give his haters a hard time after what they put him through, as well as giving us a fantastic time. Here's the fifth joke. You know how Kimla Productions' casual outfit is mostly colored green? To a lot of you, it may seem like the shade of green used for green screen purposes. For me personally, 
It looks like the color of throw up. <laughs> Hey, Jonah Campbell, my outfit is not that kind of green. You can clearly see that it's green screen green. It's definitely not the color of throw up. You literally just made an insulting joke about me so you could ruin my YouTube reputation. I'm so not happy after that insulting joke you told everybody. Here is the sixth joke, which is also a message to South Park Fanatic 2006. Hey. South Park Fanatic 2006. You really need to start eating healthy food more often. So how about you cut back on the french fries and try eating a salad instead? <laughs> I'm at a perfectly healthy weight. And besides, I already started to eat healthy food two weeks ago. So there is nobody else to fat shame other than you and your flip buddies. You may as well deserve it for trying to frame Malachi Johnson when you faked self-harm. <laughs> Here's joke number seven. It's also a message to Kendall. Hey Kendall, you can forget about DTM. He thinks you've got a face like a can of anchovies. <laughs> what the actual fuck Jonah Campbell? D Tom doesn't think that about me. He truly is one of my best online friends. You really are a disgrace and a joke not just for torturing me non-stop, but also because you lie to everybody about what D. Tom thinks of me. I will get my fucking revenge on you for that soon. Oh my fucking god. So far, that joke is the one that made me laugh the hardest. Don't you agree with me, Dwayne? Yes, Gladys, I totally agree with you. So far, that has got to be one of the funniest jokes from Jonah and his friends. I told you that Jonah Campbell truly is a real comedian. He's the best comedian ever in the whole entire universe. Here's joke number 8. It's also a message to Yami on White Tea the Ninja. Yami on White Tea the Ninja, remember, when you bullied Jonah Campbell over your stupid YouTube channel, when it got terminated by him last year? Well, guess what? You've done it 100 times already by now, so quit wasting Jonah's time and go complain about it to somebody else. <laughs> Here's joke number 9, which is also a message to Malachi Johnson. Hey, Malachi Johnson. I've heard from Chase the stick figure that you've never taken a shower before ever in your whole entire life, and your crotch smells like sweaty armpits. <laughs> Are you serious? Jonah fucking bitch ass Campbell. Why would you make such a rude joke about me like that? My crotch doesn't smell like sweaty armpits, and just so you know, I take a shower every single fucking day. I'll get you for this if it's the last thing I do. Here's joke number 10, which also happens to be a message to Vinnie Cross. Hey Vinnie Cross, your profile picture looks thick. Did your husband make it for you? <laughs> Bruh. Jonah Campbell, there is nothing thick about my profile picture. It doesn't even show my ass, 
and my ass is definitely not as thick as a hot girl's ass would be. Not only that, but I'm also not even homosexual either. I'm not and never was married to a man, nor a woman. Something tells me that you're the homosexual one in this situation, because I swear you claim to like certain things about guys. I hate that Mathurfica so fucking much. Here's joke number 11, which is also a message to D10. D10, if your grandmother is dead, someone should put her in a box floating down the river, sweetheart. <laughs> And now, here's joke number 12. Get ready for the grand finale. This is a fantastic message to every single Jonah Campbell hater. To all of Jonah Campbell's haters who are disgusted by his real life face, I know what'll make you all feel better. Spray some hot sauce into your eyes, and then sprinkle some pepper into your noses. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe it. Guys, Jonah and his friends all roasted the fuck out of every single one of us at once. Can you guys even believe this at all? We all sent each other text messages in the group conversations on our cell phones telling each other to meet up here at the Vinville study hall. And now that we're all watching TV together, we just so happen to be watching Jonah's stupid ass comedy show. How unlucky we all are tonight, am I right? We're all having a terrible night tonight. I know. But at least we're all here together, because since we're all good friends with each other, we can all cry about it together like good friends should. <laughs> oh my god. Ha 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 That final joke was definitely the number one funniest out of all 12 of those jokes. Don't you agree, Dwayne? But yeah, Gladys, it certainly was. I'm not going to lie to you, tonight's episode of the show was just absolutely hilarious as fuck. And I really enjoyed it so much. Well guys, this is all for tonight's show. We all hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you all in the next episode of Comedy for Life. If you guys have any requests for jokes for me to make and tell to the audience in the next episode, message me privately on Twitter if you have an account there. The link to my new Twitter account is down in the video's description below, because my old account sadly got suspended for violating the Twitter rules. Until next time, this is all of us saying, sayonara motherfuckers. <laughs>